if the Gita is there, focus only on Gita. All else is just stories. Gita is not a story. Gita is a philosophical document of the highest order. It is not storytelling. On listening to the discourses on a regular basis, the tight hold has somewhat started to loosen and has helped me to get over the dark times in my life. But still, I'm not able to absorb and marinate in the talks completely. There are just some moments of awakening or understanding, and they start to fade sooner than they appear. I soon fall back into the old pattern, and the readings become a mere mental knowledge. I'm simply becoming a heap of accumulated knowledge without knowing anything in the true sense. Will it be a never-ending cycle? Please guide me on how to absorb the discourse fully. And then she has given her routine. 6 a.m., the day starts, then an hour of exercise, then seven or eight hours of work, professional work probably, then evenings with family and reading. Knowledge and life move in tandem. One cannot outpace the other. If life is really proceeding towards truth, knowledge will follow. And if you are having knowledge of the false, then the true will start reflecting in your life. You cannot have one or the other in isolation. You cannot say that my life is full of godliness, but I have very little knowledge. If your life is dedicated towards godliness, then Knowledge will come on its own. Knowledge will come from an inner source. You won't even need to read a book. And that is the route some people take. They meditatively realize the direction that their life must take and they proceed in that direction. And proceeding in that direction, they find that they are learning a lot. A lot of knowledge is coming to them. Life is teaching them and their heart is teaching them. So, knowledge has kept pace with life. And then there is the other way as well. What is the other way? Gain knowledge. And if the knowledge is real, then life will follow knowledge. And when life follows knowledge, it enables you to gain more knowledge. It's like how you walk. Knowledge, life. Knowledge, life. Knowledge, life. You cannot have one leg racing ahead of the other. Hmm? If even one leg is properly moving, it will drag the other one along. Right? Does that happen or not? And if the other leg stubbornly refuses to move, what happens to the first leg? That too can't move. That is what happens to people who say that they are gathering a lot of knowledge, but their life is not changing. The fact is, you haven't gathered much knowledge. The little bit of knowledge that you firstly gain must be allowed to change your life to the extent it can. Only when life has changed to the extent it can do you become eligible for more knowledge. Are you getting it? It's almost like trying to dip 
trying to sip water using a very small bowl. Putting water into the bowl is gaining knowledge. Sipping the water is knowledge turning into life. So when knowledge turns into life, the bowl becomes empty. And it becomes eligible to receive more knowledge. And it becomes eligible to receive more knowledge, it gets more knowledge. The knowledge must become life and then it becomes again eligible. And so knowledge and life keep pace with each other. Now if you just keep gaining knowledge, which means the bowl just keeps receiving water without the water being intaken, then what is really happening? The water is just spilling over. So you think that you are receiving water, but that water is not yours. It's all going waste. It's spilling over. For the water to be really received, it must keep becoming life. And remember that the bowl is small. So whatever little knowledge you gain must quickly become life. Only then will there be a vacancy for more to be taken. You cannot say that your bowl is so big that it can keep taking in water, keep taking in water and later on at some opportune time will you sip from it. No. The bowl is very small. Take it, sip it. Take it, sip it. Take it, sip it. Keep these two going together and parallelly. There are so many who say that they know so much, but it is not benefiting them. My answer to them is, you do not know. First of all, get rid of the illusion that you know a lot. You do not know. Real knowing is being. It is impossible to know and not to be. And if you are not succeeding in being, then it means that you also have no knowing. Knowing that does not turn into being is not knowing at all. All right? So, just do not fall in the trap of big knowledge. Take the small things and turn them into your life. And then you will see how you open up to receiving more knowledge and living by it. Right? You have mentioned your routine here. This routine has to change in some way. If your routine pre-knowledge is the same as your routine post-knowledge, then how has knowledge impacted you at all? Knowledge, if it is real, it changes your life, your routine, your work, your relationships, your face, your choice of everything in the world. And if that is not happening, despite all the books, then the books are failing upon you. <laughs>